Good morning, Michelle Saxman here, and ready to share with you some time with Jesus Calling by Sarah Young on November the 23rd. As you sit quietly in my presence, let me fill your heart and mind with thankfulness. This is the most direct way to, to achieve a thankful stance. If your mind needs a focal point, gaze at my love poured out for you on the cross. Remember that nothing in heaven or, or on earth can separate you from that love. This remembrance builds a foundation of gratitude in you, a foundation that circumstances cannot shake. As you go through this day, look for tiny treasures strategically placed along the way. I lovingly go before you and plant little pleasures to brighten your day. Look carefully for them and pluck them one by one. When you reach the end of the day, you will have gathered a lovely bouquet. Offer it up to me with a grateful heart. Receive my peace as you lie down to sleep with thankful thoughts playing a lullaby in your mind. Uh, two things on this one. One is, again, quietness, stillness is the classroom. As you sit quietly in my presence, we get to choose. Are we going to choose that our mind and our thoughts go toward hope, the fruits of the Spirit, thankfulness, gratitude, and praise, then we will be in His presence. If we sit in stillness and we are kind of brought down by the things of the culture and all of the disappointments and filled with worry and hope, we have drifted from His powerful presence. But He says, sit, let me fill your mind and your heart. You guys imagine what that would be like, how we would walk out the fruits of the Spirit into this culture, into this world, to be in this world, not of this world. Then we are fully tethered to our Creator and our Savior. And how about an invitation to a treasure hunt? Again, Jesus says, what do you want? What do you want from me? You guys, it is, we have to be intentional about our requests. Otherwise, we're just going to drift and we're going to end up living by default. We truly are called to live with intention. So setting the intention to find his tr tiny treasures, his pleasures. I call them those God winks that he sets out before our path. We can be walking into very dire circumstances, walking into, um, I guess, a hospital room, walking into a funeral procession. And our hearts are so heavy, but we can set the intention, Heavenly Father, I want to see a miracle. What we focus on, where we set this mindset, mindset, is it going to be set toward the kingdom or set toward the culture, set toward hope or set toward worry? Again, worry is anticipating the future without his presence. And it is also praying for what we don't want to have happen. So be intentional. If your mind needs a focal point, gaze on my love, the end of all suffering, his time that he sent his son to spend on the cross to redeem us of all of our sin and every time we miss the mark. So the readings for today, the first one is Romans chapter 8 verses 38 and 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future nor any powers, neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. That is a truth. And we can begin to really let these truths settle into every cell of our body and our beliefs will begin to change. We are not alone. We are never alone. He is chasing our heart with his perfect love. He sees that perfect love, that peace of him that is already within us. He has washed away all of our sin when we are ready. He already sees us wrapped in that robe of righteousness. We have to put it on, you guys. We have to shed the shame and allow his light to fully fill us. The next reading is 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11. For no one can lay any foundation other than the one already laid, which is in Jesus Christ. You guys, that is a firm foundation. Um, I think of the three little pigs and, you know, you can build your house on the sand and on the rock and it made out of straw or made out of brick and I huff and a puff and I blow your house down. 
we choose the foundation and if we allow it to be the foundation of his peace and of his love there will be nothing else we are not alone he has laid down that foundation we have to choose to allow it to be the foundation for our life the final reading is psalm chapter 4 verses 7 and 8 you have filled my heart with a greater joy than when their grain and new wine abound I will lie down and sleep in peace for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. You have filled my heart with greater joy. You guys, that is in the unseen realm, greater than grain and wine, greater than the external circumstances, greater than the abundance of um, even in the other readings, the things of the, the vines of the olives, the pen with the sheep greater than anything of that you have given me a sense of internal joy that this world cannot shake our joy and our peace do not depend on favorable circumstances but they do depend on whether or not we trust in our lord so sit quietly be still even if it's just in that internal environment we have to take those deep breaths and create that internal and then determining, making sure we are in his presence and we are not drifting, allowing our mind to be filled up with the culture. And then he wants to pour into our heart and our mind. We are on a treasure hunt today. He has laid down blessings along our path. So when we set the intention to see those gifts, you guys, he will never disappoint. So I challenge you today to build your bouquet of those blessings, those little God winks that he is just kind of sprinkling in amongst all the glitz and the glamour of the culture. He is leaving us hints and notes of his love in our powerful presence. Y'all have a super blessed day. Prepare your hearts, mind, soul, and strength in thanksgiving, praise, and worship. Y'all have a blessed one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.